Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Mahoka Koko no Yuto Sei episode number 5. Okay, the previous episode. Um, we are uh, like you know like Honoka um, and all the uh, like you know Shizuku and I forgot her name. What was her name? Um, ah. Uh, I, anyways uh, the red haired girl like i forgot her name i'm not accustomed to telling her name you know they got attacked in the alleyway and miyuki thankfully came and saved the day because they had the cast jamming thing that was going on and it would have been a big mess if miyuki was not there if miyuki was not following them so thankfully like that problem got solved and uh like you know the whole thing with blanche is coming up and we're getting to see like everything like these kind of things kind of happened in youth uh, retose but we saw the other other perspective of retose here we're seeing everything from Mugi and this perspective so it's kind of like you know showing us the whole picture now what was happening in the background and at the same time what actually happened in the like you know in Tatsuya like you know around Tatsuya surrounding that we saw in Red Tose and we're going to see get, getting to see everything that happened in the background at that moment and also the whole thing with uh, the discrimination thing also kind of popped up where like you know the students were kind of um protesting but you know like uh, Saigusa came and she you know gave a heartfelt what can I say request said that please just wait um, I'm trying my best, not I, but we all are trying our best for, like, you know, this problem to, you know, find a solution to this thing. And it's going to take time, obviously, because, like, you know, this is something that involves the people. So to change something that involves the people themselves, the people themselves need to change. So that in itself is a big thing. And it's definitely going to take a change because, like, you know, like if it was just in their hands, they could have said that, yeah, we are trying our best. We're going to do this sooner or later. But they can't say that because this this all depends on the people, you know, the actual blooms who are discriminating and the weeds that are getting discriminated against. Both of them, both of them need to change. The weeds need to start, like, you know, protesting, saying that whenever something bad happens, they need to stand up for themselves. And, and the blooms need to realize that not to be become douchebags that's basically it so yeah it's going to take time and people need to like you know like actively participate here so to make a change so yeah that and also like in by the end of it uh the whole um attack starts which we saw in red tose and this episode i'm sure we're going to see some moves that's just moves you know <laughs> oh boy <laughs> i'm looking forward to that so yeah without further ado let's get started this is episode number five of mahoka yo koko no yu tose so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. There you go. Ah, oh, well. I think, um, no, not this. Um, I, I was going to say that I think this is the first time we actually saw Tasya's actual power in Retose. But I'm wrong in a way because we kind of saw the whole thing with, I think his name was Hattori. You know, that, that guy who uh, challenged Tatsuya in the student council? That guy, yeah. I think name, his name was Hattori or something. You know, like that's, that's probably the first time we saw Tatsuya's insane power. And we got hints before that, you know. But that's the time when we first saw him. And here, like, you know, we saw how broken he is, Tatsuya. You know, his power. <laughs> in the whole, like, you know, terrorist attack.
Okay. I won't let anyone interfere. Oh boy. Whoa. God, like this is a school for God's sake. What the hell? Like. Oh, wow. Like the amount of. Okay. Oh, nice. Oh, her name is Amy. I remembered. <laughs> I suddenly remembered. <laughs> for a moment that I forgot. Oh, wow. <laughs> God. <laughs> That's a cool looking CAD. Oh, boy. Oh, wait. Okay, Shizuku. Wait, who was that? Was it Shizuku? Yeah. Boy. Yeah, she was saying how much she does not like the arguments. And now they're basically attacking them. Hmm. Okay, get out of this place now. Like... Um... Uh, you guys need to run, I think. Oh boy. All right. Oh, they did not show us that. Uh, yeah, I think. Oh boy. I was looking forward to that, but in a way, like, you know, we saw that in that Tose, so. Mm. Yeah, calm down. Yeah. Yeah. Lunch. Oh boy. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that guy was. Yeah, but they won't... Oh, oh boy. Like, they're being manipulated by some people. That's basically it. Oh. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's basically it, like, you know, surroundings and the people. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. 
Hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, oh, there, oh boy. Oh no. <laughs> there they are. What? Oh! What the? Oh! Okay. Um... That's why you try to kill them? What the... Oh boy. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Their homeboy is a terrorist. Yeah, oh that won't happen. There you go. These are disciplinary committee members for a reason. <laughs> God. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> oh my God. Jumanji. Diversion. Yeah, okay, they're kind of showing us like the highlights Okay, understandable like obviously like we saw all of this in Rittose <laughs> Yeah Ah, nah. This is, and nah, and this is Tasso we're talking about. <laughs> mm, yeah. Okay. And ah, wow. <laughs> Jumanji, it's like. Oh. <laughs> wow, oh my god. I actually realized it a lot late into the anime of Rettose. That Erika is pretty OP. I, I did not realize it in season 1. Season 2 really showed us that. <laughs> hmm. Nah, it won't work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're way above your league.
All yeah. Like he like everyone had that feeling within them, but he basically prodded it, and like you know, and made it even worse. And people started acting on it. Um, didn't you hear what Muki said? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. God. <laughs> Only froze her, froze his hand. They're still trying, but obviously, what else can they even do? Oh boy. <laughs> okay. Oh no, she's going all out. And there you go. <laughs> nah. Something else. What? <clears throat> oh, he, she probably thinks that she went all out, so... Yeah, I think it's, that's what she's fretting about. Uh, yeah, they're all, um, no, wait, they're all unconscious, I think, no, no, Must have used that one. Oh, oh, he. Okay, okay. Oh, that's what's bothering her. Oh yeah. All right. Okay, I understand. Yeah, it's all goals. Oh boy. Okay. Okay.
Hmm. Okay, so that brings this arc to an end, I'm guessing. <laughs> um, what's she doing now? <laughs> oh my god, what the? Wait, is his birthday or something? What? Oh yeah, it's his birthday, okay. It really is. <laughs> Everyone's here. <laughs> oh, she's a cool, come on. <laughs> Yeah, no detective, <laughs> no detectives anymore. <laughs> hmm. Ah, yeah. Oh. Oh yeah, <laughs> the whole, okay, okay, <laughs> yeah. Race away at the speed of light. Yeah. Yeah, they want normalcy in their life, so. Hmm. Alright, that's the end. Okay, so I'm guessing, uh, as far as I can remember, the next arc is the, uh, the, what was the name? The whole competition thing that starts, I forgot the, the name of it. You know, that, that arc, where the whole tournament thing starts and, like, you know, like, Cardinal George comes in, and that. And that's where, like, you know, like, it's also with them, like, they go to a place and the whole thing with the bus happens, you know, in the midst of the way. All that stuff. So, I'm guessing that, oh, and uh, the flying thing, like, you know, Miyuki, I forgot each, oh, Mirage, Mirage, what was it called? Mirage Bat or something like that. You know, it's been a while I've seen Reto Sen, I, I forgot all the names, but I remember the, the happenings. So, I'm guessing that's the next one. And we're going to see, and uh, like you know, uh, I can see like in the openings, uh, a huge, what can I say, um, what can I say, like, you know, um, focus is given on that, the school festival thing, uh, the, uh, the tournament thing, sorry, not school festival, the tournament thing, and there's a lot of new characters who I'm guessing are going to be introduced there, from a different school, I guess, I think that's a different school, yeah. Because they have different uniforms. So... <coughs> okay, that's the end. Oh, there's something else. Whoa! Oh, this is that school! Eclair Irie. Oh yeah, these are the characters we see in the opening all the time. Toko Eclair Irie, I think. Oh, and this girl.
Și ori. Nine skills competition. Yeah, I never remember the name now. <laughs> yeah, about that. My God. <laughs> After Reto say all of this <laughs> Oh boy <laughs> Okay um all right as I was saying like you know so basically uh before like in Reto say we never got any information about the opponents No the only opponents we got a few more information about were Cardinal George and um, uh the other person I think his, his name was what, I forgot his name. The other other guy, the black haired kid. I forgot his name. Not kid, but uh, his friend, Cardinal Joss' friend. You know, like those two were the characters who we only got to know more about, and they were like, you know given importance. So th here, I'm guessing we're going to get to see more about the opponents that Muki and um, you know uh, Saigusa. Saigusa was in the I think. Oh, where was she? Was Saigusa in? I, I forgot. Um, Monoka was there. I can't remember, but uh, like you know, in Reto say, uh, <clears throat> all the different characters who fought the opponents, we didn't even like you know get any information about them. It's just like we saw them. So here, I'm guessing we're going to get more information, more elaboration, and we're also going to see their part of the story as well, as we can see like you know them also talking with each other and uh, yeah so, so that's what's going to happen and uh, <clears throat> yeah i'm looking forward to these new characters like obviously we, we know what's going to happen <laughs> in the uh like you know in the nine uh, schools competition but yeah still <laughs> Okay, anyways, okay, this episode, this was on uh, the end of the whole Blanche thing and uh, Kinoe got arrested, I think, yeah, arrested and, uh, you know, the whole thing with Mibu got resolved and, uh, <clears throat> um, yeah, that was basically it. All of this we, we saw in Retose, but we saw the portions where Tasuya was in. Now... Um, I, I thought that we were going to see Tasuya's power here, but uh, they did not show that. I was kind of looking forward to that a little bit, you know, even if they showed us a little glimpse of the power again. But anyways, we saw, obviously saw that in Retose, so it, it doesn't matter. But, you know, like uh, everything that was shown in Retose are not shown here and everything that is happening here are kind of completely new in a way. We're seeing the other portion of everything that we missed and it's kind of making the story a complete whole thing and uh now one thing i actually realized from this episode i think i, I never did realize it in retose is uh actually after muki used niflheim and freezes all of the you know all of them she, she like you know like it was actually tasuya who brought them back from it using uh, regeneration and uh, that's one thing i think i did not realize in red Tose when i watched it and uh, like here it's, it's very clearly like you know said and like you know Miyuki herself says that you know like she actually realizes when she sees the them taking like you know like people taking them to the hospital and she actually realizes that uh it was tasuya who brought them back from that state and that makes her feel guilty because as she said like you know she kind of acted rashly like you know her anger kind of got her and she used the her magic the niflheim spell that she did and she <clears throat> froze them without even thinking that probably that's one thing that she should not have done she could have just i'm not sure like you know frozen up part of their body or i'm not even sure how how could she even stop them if they did not freeze them like they were kind of acting very you know uh 
what do you call it when people get uh, very excited agitated like you know sometimes like, you know they, 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 they are unable to think of uh, anything and they kind of jump into stuff which is a very bad idea that's what basically happened to the uh, people here who <coughs> the terrorists here uh, they like you know they got so scared and so freaked out that they basically went and attacked or tried to attack Miyuki and Miyuki got so mad at that so angry at that from actually for them actually like you know trying to uh, uh, what do you call it like disrupt Tatsuya she froze them and then she actually realized that oh my god like I shouldn't have done that because you know the spell in itself is pretty powerful and it's pretty painful for the people who are you know uh, being frozen so Tatsuya bring them back each and every one of them oh my god that's like a huge amount of pain he had to tolerate and you know so I'm not even sure what she could have done otherwise you know because they were as I said like you know they were kind of acting like blind people they were just like rushing into like you know trying to attack Miyuki so I'm not even sure how she could have restrain them who knows maybe like make a small little ice cage or something and you know yeah confine them in there so that they are unable to do anything something like that he, she could have probably done i'm not sure but yeah like you know like she kind of you know her anger got the better of her so <clears throat> yeah and uh this is something that i realized actually today and like you know the, the reason why like in the beginning when Miyuki was like you know uh freaking out after seeing them like you know being taken to the hospital i thought that she was uh like you know like you know she was uh thinking about the fact that they might have died and that's probably why she was freaking out but turns out like no that's not the actual thing the, the actual thing she was freaking about was she like realized that Tatsuya brought them back and the amount of pain that Tatsuya must have had to uh, endure to do that and that made her feel guilty because she's the actual one who did freeze them oh yeah anyways okay and uh, <clears throat> what else and we get a little bit of a party about the party with Tatsuya and all of the others. Oh, one thing. Um, I kind of said this before, but uh, when I saw season one, I, I did not react to season one, obviously. I, I reacted to season two of Red Tose. And when I saw season one, um, I, like, you know, throughout the whole anime, I, I, like, I saw Erika and, like, you know, her power and everything. I, but it never did strike me that Erika, like, in my head, Erika was, uh, you know, kind of like this on the same level as Leo. You know as shibata all of them but then in season two after everything happens i actually realize how op actually erika is like she's very strong you know like she's obviously she surpasses leo and like you know all the other people uh, in base of uh, pure like you know strength and all but still she she's pretty strong like you know like you know she she's quite high up in power department now like you know that's just something that i thought like i i never really did realize that in season one so yeah like after seeing this episode again i can actually see like you know that how how strong she is like like these type of things doesn't even bother her and we actually saw her amount of like you know her her power level, her like, you know, amount of strength she has in season two is it, basically, and Leo basically goes to her for training, like asks her for training in season two, I think. So yeah, that that really shows how much strong she is. And uh, yeah, anyways, okay. And uh, what else? Mm, yeah, I think that was basically it. Nothing else to talk about because yeah nothing much to talk about here because that's basically what happened um oh we got a little uh section of amy honoka and shizuku them also fighting and restraining the terrorists that's another thing that we got to see 
which I don't think we saw in Retose. And uh, yeah, otherwise everything was kind of shown and implied in Retose, and that's just what happened here. <clears throat> okay, uh, <clears throat> what else? One thing. <clears throat> oh, okay. Uh, the whole thing with the now Tatsuya obviously like you know the main thing that Tatsuya cares about is Miyuki uh, and their normal lifestyle that's basically it and uh, <clears throat> here uh, now obviously we can like you know the in season one basically like you know the, the season that's happening here basically everything that Tatsuya really did care about was Miyuki and nothing else she she like you know he just like you know the the reason like i feel it kind of seems a little bit what can i say you know a little bit uh weird you know to say but in my opinion in season one tasio was basically like oh like you know like if, for example if something bad happens to some like you know let's just take a character like honoka or erika or some someone you know if something bad was probably going to happen they were in danger that would definitely go save them but i don't know if if i'm wrong or not but i feel like that was basically what tasio was in season one he protected them just because he thought that miyuki would be sad if they got hurt like i think that was his point of view in season one i might be wrong completely i'm not sure but as far as i could understand from reto and you know yuto say like his emotion is basically everything like you know is there's nothing only the her his uh you know, affection for miyuki is the sole emotion that he has and that was basically done for like you know like we got we saw like the whole experimentation thing and why he is so like you know his he has no emotions because of his like you know the amount of space it actually takes for his um i forgot the technical uh stuff but that was basically it like you know for her for his immense power he had to sacrifice his emotions and only like very i think very uh like you know her, his what can i say his only emotion that remained was muki you know like uh, his affection for Miyuki was the only emotion that remained. So I think, like in season one, it was basically like that. He he protected everyone. He saved everyone just because he thought that oh Miyuki will be sad if something happens to them. But I think this changes in season two in Reto say where we actually get to see him actively showing emotion when his friends like you know I, I think the whole scene with Leo that happens in Retose when he gets hurt uh, when Leo gets hurt you know he actively shows emotion for them and I think it was also mentioned in the, the season 2 that it said that uh, you know he is actually feeling these type of emotions for them which never before happened we also saw him kind of like you know frown in season 2 when they got hurt or something I'm not sure but like this like you know seeing this kind of makes me realize because that conversation you know where Tatsuya says that uh, we need to like you know stay like you know stay on the ground because uh, we need to become like you know we, we need to <clears throat> for our normal life to go on you know we need to protect this like you know this uh, peacefulness or something like that he said and that basically like, you know shows us that everything that he's doing even the peace that he's protecting is basically for Miyuki so like you know so <laughs> like anyways that's just something that i thought and i realized not now i kind of realized that before but this uh, like you know this episode kind of showed us that part of you know Tatsuya again that his emotions are really not there it's really not here which obviously changes in season two a little bit <clears throat> but yeah anyways okay and then like you know in the end we get to see the members of the other school uh i think uh, what was her name eclair and uh toko eclair toko and what what was her name the other girl shiori eclair toko and shiori okay these are the new characters and obviously cardinal george is there we know them 
Oh, Prince, that was his name. I forgot. No, wait a minute. Oh, wait, am I making a mistake? I think I made a mistake. Just a sec, let me check one thing. Um, I think I made a mistake in... Just a sec. Oh, oh god, I made a mistake. Um, <laughs> I was, I was, <laughs> I, I completely, like, you know, I, I forgot. Uh, I was kind of left referring to uh, Cardinal, like, you know, Crimson Prince as Cardinal George. Cardinal George is actually her his friend, I forgot. You know, the, the black haired guy. And uh, the other one was the Crimson Prince. Um, okay, I made a mistake there. Yeah. So, okay, his name is actually, uh, Cardinal George's actual name is Kichijoji Shinkuro. Damn, that's a very difficult name to remember. And uh, I think I, rem I knew Crimson Prince's actual name, but I forgot. Ichijo Masaki, yeah, that was, that's the Crimson Prince. Okay, I, I, I uh, like, you know, I've uh, mistakenly referred to uh, Crimson Prince as Cardinal George before, like, you know, in the previous, uh, like, you know, uh, moment when I uh, was discussing about them. So, yeah, that was a mistake that I did. So, uh, Crimson Prince is Ichijo Masaki and Cardinal George is, <laughs> I already forgot his name, Shinkuroku, Kichijoji Shinkuroku, Shin Shinkuro, okay. So, yeah, these are the two uh, characters that we already know from Red Tose. So yeah, that's basically it. And uh, yeah, we're going to get into the nine schools competition from the next episode, I think, like, you know, like the basic preparations and everything was going to happen. And then we're going to get into the whole thing. And I think we're probably not going to see much of Tatsuya's battle as everything is going, you know, like where in this episode, even we did not show Tatsuya's, like, you know, portion. Uh, because everything was showed in Retose, so the whole battle where Tatsuya actually fights against Crimson Prince and Cardinal George, you know, that whole flick thing that happens, you know, he kind of goes in front of his ears and flicks her, his finger and <laughs> that's cool. And, you know, we won't see that, I most probably. We're probably going to see more of um, Miyuki's, uh, you know, the whole Mirage Bat thing. Uh, I think that was called Mirage Bat. Mirage Bat. Let me just check. Um, yeah, Mirage Bat. So, <clears throat> we're going to, like, you know, focus on that and all the other competitions that the girls did. So, yeah, that's what's basically going to happen, I think. So, yeah. So, yeah, guys, that was it. That was my reaction to Mahoka Kokono Yutose episode number 5. So, if you guys enjoyed my reaction, be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed. And comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to let me know. I'll check them out. So, yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week with another episode of Mahoka Kokono Yutose. So, until then, goodbye and have a nice day.